And what do I got here? Okay. Um, so this one is at my seventh question. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so we have a focal length. What is the focal length of a makeup mirror that produces a magnification of 1.5 when a person's face is 12 centimeters away? Okay, so just as a reminder of how mirrors work. So if we have, we'll have the focal length of the mirror, which goes through the center, which is still what I want to pretend that is. And that was probably a mistake. Whatever. All right. So there's my mirror. <clears throat> there's my focal length. And if I have some object here that's in front of the focal length, uh, again, that was a mistake because that's going to be impossible for me to draw. So if you have some object there in front of the focal length, then the rays. are going to um, oh, right. the rays are going to do something like this and basically wherever this propagates to in the back side is our magnified image where that is the X of our object that is the X of our image um, that is the height of our image and that is the height of our object. And <clears throat> one over the focal length is related to our distances by one over the x of our object plus one over x of our image. Um, our magnification is uh, the height of our image over the height of our object but it's also equal to minus the x of the image over the x of the object. And remember that an x that's behind the mirror, which is a virtual image, will be negative. So <clears throat> that means that um, if we, so we're given uh, that magnification is 1.50 and that the X for our object is 12.0 centimeters. So that means that uh, solving uh, this equation, specifically this one, for our magnification, it means that the X for our image is MXO with a negative sign, which is 1.50 times 12.0 centimeters, which comes out to be uh, minus, I forgot the negative sign, minus 18 centimeters. So the assumption that we had a virtual image is correct. And then we can use this value, we can use this value in our uh, focal length expression. So one over F, is one over um, x for our objects, so 12.0 centimeters, plus one over minus 18 centimeters, which uh, giving them uh, I, the same denominator uh, is three over 36 centimeters, um, I guess I can drop the centimeters here. So it'd be centimeters, the whole thing. Um, or actually inverse centimeters. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> All right, I'll leave the centimeters on the bottom. 
minus 2 over 36 centimeters. So 3 minus 2 is 1, so that's pretty easy. Um, and so that's equal to 1 over 36 centimeters. Or uh, as that's 1 over f, our focal length is 36.0 centimeters. And also validated our assumption that the object was in front of the focal length. And so that's, yeah, so that's just our focal length. All right, so looking through the solution, um, the magnification can be related to the distance between the, ear, the mirror and the object and the mirror and the image like this. Uh, substituting our values, we get uh, minus 18, which is what we had. And from the mirror equation, we can get our focal length, um, which comes out to be this. Uh, 30, and yeah, so our focal length we get is 36 centimeters. So that looks good. And I'm going to say that. And